Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Sky Talk. Today we're going to go through the entire process of installing or removing a 5.4 millimeter lens from your GoPro Hero 3 Plus or Hero 4. Doesn't matter if it's silver or the black edition. Uh, in this case, we'll use the silver edition and we'll be removing the 5.4 millimeter lens and installing the original fisheye lens to do some fisheye work and uh, really just to demonstrate how easy it is to do this whole process. So this has about half the field of view of the original lens and it's rectilinear so we have flat horizons. That's the main reason I got it and I'm using it for aerial photography. Um, it zooms in the picture a bit which I love so you know that's a little bit of info about the lens. These are the tools you'll need, some type of pliers. Uh, some people use rubber uh, plumbers uh, pliers. It's not necessary really. Uh, I have some tape here. It's uh, some thread seal tape and I'll explain why I use that in a bit. And then just a very small screwdriver, just something you can use as a pick to remove the lens. Now some companies are disassembling the entire camera to remove the lens. I found a much easier method where we're really just going to remove this outer part here, the inner uh, ring there, and then we'll be able to just unscrew the lens. Uh, as you see it does look very stock here. 5.4, I'll see if I can zoom that in for you. There we go, we're in focus now. All right, so the first thing that we'll do is I'm gonna take my pick or screwdriver and there are three little prongs that we need to take off. There's a, a clip inside at the 12 o'clock, there's one right down here, and then we've got another over here. So I'll do the top one first and uh, Really just slide in there. You can see, got it very easily. Come over and we'll do this one. Same deal. You don't get it right away. Let's try over here first. So we already got two off, so now we can just twist it a bit and that pops right out, okay? So, so that's the big outer ring. Now since I have the 5.4 millimeter lens, it doesn't have the same clips on the outside that this second piece goes on. Let me show you. Um, so this is the original lens and you can see that it's got some hooks. Uh, sorry guys. It's got some hooks around here that this actually clips onto and You'll see how that goes on once we have it on the new lens. So just to keep it looking stock, I lay it inside this one. And I also installed, other than this um, rubber that comes on it, let's see here, I can just pull that right off. That comes with it. I just had a rubber O-ring that I laid in there so that uh, just keep out some extra dust. So we'll go ahead and pull that out as well. You don't want any dust getting into the camera. Just an O-ring I had laying around and it fit perfect and actually gave some height to this since it wasn't clipped onto the lens. And uh, it really was just perfect. So there's the lens. It's perfectly uh, focused. All I had to do was plug in a mini HDMI or is it a micro HDMI? I don't even know. I had an adapter. I plugged that into my computer. Um, I had an extra monitor and I just twisted this and focused it. So I'll just demonstrate that. Twist that easy. And even when all of this stuff is on there, you can still get to it with your fingertips and adjust it. So unlimited possibilities. What I recommend doing is putting a mark somewhere. Uh, I only used it at one focal point. So I knew that I had to have between that R and the C lined up just perfectly. So I could just visually check and I would know it's gonna be in focus for me. So we'll remove this now. Just gonna unscrew it by hand. If it was the original lens, what you would need to do is take your pliers and you would grip around the edge up here. And you just have to give it some force and you just need to twist it off. Um, at first it'll feel like it's sticking because it is glued in there, but um, like I said, I'm not going to 
uh, get any nicks on this. I have a few nicks on that one, but it's obviously still fine. I'm about to use it again. So I'm just gonna do this one by hand. And this is a little more loose. I didn't wanna put any Loctite or glue like some people do. So what I used was the plumber's tape. And I just did a bunch of wraps around it. It took a couple of tries at first because I was putting it on the wrong direction. And when I went to screw it in, it would just be automatically like undoing the tape. But I got that figured out. And this stuff really is amazing. It, it like bonds to, to itself. Um, I'm just going to put the cap on the bottom of this so I don't get any fingerprints on it. That's the top side. And we got the bottom over there. Um, this is the tape. So it's just very thin if you haven't seen it before. You can pick it up at just your local Home Depot or anywhere. It's like a dollar or something. So that's what plumber's tape is. Works really well. So that's the lens. That's how it'll come to you. IR cut, make sure you get that. If you get the uh, non-cut version, your picture will come out pink. So that's very weird. So I'll put that to the side. Here we've got the GoPro. You can see that sensor in there. And what we're going to do is take this lens and just screw it in. And since I broke that original seal, I can just do it by hand at this point. Okay. So I'm going to need to focus this. For the demonstration in the video, I'm just going to put it um, back together, and I'm going to focus it later. You know what? Let me cut, and I'll focus it real quick, and then, um, then I'll come back. So pretty much what I do is I use this adapter here, got it on Amazon, plug it into my HDMI, which is plugged into my TV here, and then just plug it into your camera. Look at the picture on the TV while hand focusing it. Uh, I use somewhere outside the window here, about 100 yards away. Make sure that's in focus. I know that's good. And then we'll go back to the table. Okay, hard part's done. Completely focused. I'm going to shut the camera back off. All right. First things first, I'll put this uh, original ring back on. Just fits in there nicely. Then we will take this piece. You can see those little uh, clips. There's three of them. And they go on the camera. There we go. Okay. Did get some fingerprints on the lens there, but I'll just wipe those off. The last thing that we need is this. Go ahead and pop that on. All right, and we've got the original lens back on the GoPro. So that's quick, that's easy. You don't have to disassemble your whole uh, camera. Just a couple of tools, extra O-ring if you want it. I did end up putting a little bit of plumber's tape on this lens just to be sure that it wasn't going to move around while I'm flying. That's really it, guys. Hope this helped you out a lot. If it didn't, uh, give a thumbs down, it's all right. And post some comments if you have questions, always reply. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video.